Okay, so now I'm going to show you how RFID works and step by step take you through the process of getting set up and then show you how to use it. Uh, first step is to attach the tags to equipment. So you can either put stickers onto non-ferrous materials, so these work with plastic or fibre, they don't work on metal. I attach them on the outside of the box. You could also attach it to the tool, but if you want to hand over tools quickly, I think it's easier to attach them on the box, assuming that people are competent and responsible enough to actually maintain the tools within this box. So you can put stickers onto boxes or other equipment. You can also attach the stickers um, to your ropes and then put some heat shrink around it. If you need heat shrink, we can supply you with heat shrink as well. Uh, this is really good for rope logs and especially, again, people who need to have full traceability of all their equipment on, on every job that the equipment's been on. We also have cable ties with a little radio frequency chip built into the inside of the cable tie. Uh, these are really good for attaching to harnesses and other equipment that you can't put a sticker on. And then here's the true gem. We also have an RFID chip that can be glued on to carabiners or other metal equipment. We recommend to use this glue here. Uh, it's Loctite 480. It can be bought in various hardware stores. You might need to order it in advance. Not everyone carries it in stock. Otherwise, you can also order the glue together with your tags. It's a really good, really cost-effective way to um, tag your carabiners, do inspections on them and track where they've been going. Once you've glued the tag on, let it cure for about 24 to 48 hours. After that, it's nearly impossible to get these off, so it's a very durable solution. If you want to go a bit upmarket, um, ISC actually sell carabiners with the chips already built in, but it is also substantially more expensive and then buying a normal carabiner and then gluing the chip on yourself. So I suspect most people will go down the route of retrofit. Okay, so let's assume we've got all our equipment tagged. The next step is going to be how to connect your Easy ID reader and then scan all this equipment into your software.